Hi, this is Mokhtar from CodingMoney.com and today I've got a really good news. For the very first time, developers can have unlimited private repositories on GitHub for free for their private projects. Before we get started, if you're interested in learning coding and making money online, please subscribe to this channel and make sure to hit the notification bell. So what is Git and why should we learn it? Git is a version control system. What that really means is that basically Git helps us manage our project files. It keeps track of the entire history of changes of the projects that you're working on. If you've been coding for some time and if you're a single developer in your organization, chances are that you might keep your code files into folders something like this. For every change in backup, you might keep a different folder with some kind of a date stamp. And when you get back to your code and say like six months, you're all confused to know which one is the latest folder you'd worked on. This is especially helpful for software developers because when you're working on a project, you first build a basic version of it and then try to improve it by adding new features or just experiment with things. This whole process of experimenting with new features is incredibly error prone and you might want to revert back to your original code. This is where version control comes into play. It automatically tracks every minute change in your project and allows us to revert back to a previous version no matter how many times you have changed your files. Another awesome thing about Git is that it allows people to work together on the same project at the same time without disturbing each other's files. Collaboration is so much easier with Git. Team members can work on different features and easily merge those changes together. So what is the difference between Git and GitHub? In short, Git is version control system and GitHub is an online hosting service for Git repositories. You can use Git on your local machine without the need to have a GitHub account. GitHub is a web-based service for version control using Git. Basically, it is kind of a social networking site for developers. You can host your central repository. You can look at other people's code, identify issues with their code, and even propose changes. This all helps you in improving your own code. Some basic terminology. You will hear me say repository a lot in this video. A Git repository or a repo is a folder that you have told Git to help you track file changes. Git is one of those things I wish somebody taught me when I started to learn coding 10 years ago. I would have saved so much time and money. But back then, we did not have Visual Studio Code. And I had to learn Git commands, but now with Visual Studio Code, it's so much easier. In this video, I'll show you how to backup your existing projects onto GitHub, into private repositories, and keep an offsite backup of your code and preserve it forever onto the clouds. For this tutorial, you need three things. First is Git. Download and install Git. The installation instructions should be pretty straightforward. Just follow the instructions on the screen. Click next, next, and finish. Secondly, download Visual Studio Code and install it. Finally, create an account on github.com. Click on sign up, choose a username and email address, password, verify your account, create account. What kind of work do you do? Software engineer. How much programming experience do you have? Moderate amount. What do you plan to use GitHub for? Host a project repository. Well, I'm interested in coding money. Complete setup. Please verify your email address. You gotta check your email address. Verify email address. What do you want to do first? I'll skip this for now. So this is the screen that you're gonna get after you sign up for an account at github.com. I'll go ahead, create a repository. I'm gonna call it existing project. And description, just an existing project. I'll select a private repository because I don't want to share this code with the whole world. You probably worked for an organization or a company that's proprietary code, but you still want to keep a backup of it in case you need it sometime in the future or you change your job or something else. You may have your own reasons for that. So I select the private uh, repository. This used to cost a few bucks. But now it's free, so go ahead and click Create Repository. Okay, your repository is created. 
I have an existing project on my desktop called existing project. It's just an example, a PHP login system, but you could have anything. It doesn't matter. You could have C Sharp, uh, C++, uh, Node.js. Um, if you're a writer, you can have your Word document or whatever. It can work in any case. I'm just going to use this as an example to upload this to the GitHub private repository, which we created earlier. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to open this folder in Visual Studio Code. Click open folder, find the folder, select folder. Yeah, it should open it up. First step is to initialize repository. Click on source control and you can click on initialize repository. It initialized the repository and now you can see the untracked files. So what we have done is initialized a local Git repository in our local machine. Let's take a look at the stages of Git. Git has three stages, working directory, staging area, and repository. Currently we are in the working directory with untracked files. We need to add the untracked files or any changes into the staging area and then we'll be able to commit it to the repository. And once we do commit that is one version of that file. So if we get rid of the file or something happens we want to revert back to an old version of the file we can do that. You can add these untracked files into the staging area either by typing the git commands in the terminal or use the graphical user interface provided by the Visual Studio Code. I'll use both so that you can get an idea. To use the terminal, you can press Ctrl and the tele sign. You'll get to the uh, terminal. Uh, you can start typing the git command, the one that you want to get start with the git status. And you can see in the terminal that these are the files in the directory which is untracked. So we can add a file into the staging area by typing git. Every git command starts with the git. And then we can say add and then type the file name like index.php. If you take a look at the site, you see that the file index.php has been added to the staging area. You can use the graphical user interface to do pretty much the same thing. If you click on this plus sign, it, it will stage all changes to the staging area. So it means that these are ready to be committed. And now I can commit it to my local Git repository by typing a message. I'll say first commit. And if I press the commit, all the changes, all the files have been committed into the local git repository. Type git log, you can see that there has been one commit with this SHA code. Git status, and there's nothing to be committed. So now we need to set up remote repository. Let's use the private repository we created on GitHub earlier. To add a repository, we'll open the command palette by pressing Ctrl Shift P and type git add remote. Give it a remote name, existing underscore project. And we'll copy the URL from GitHub. I'll use the HTTPS link, copy this, and I can paste it here. Remote repository has been added. Now we need to push the changes to GitHub. And we can do that by clicking this small icon at the lower left hand corner. It's going to ask you your username and password. Type your username and password. I think it's already done that. So it's asking, would you like to get periodically? No, ask me later. And if I go here and if I refresh this page, I should be able to see the files. And yes, I can see all the changes has been successfully pushed onto the GitHub repository from my local Git repository. You can repeat the same steps for your other projects. Let's go to Visual Studio Code and let's go to the files. Let me create a new file. Now let me just call it a new underscore file.php. I added this new file and as you can see, it's an untracked file for now. So it's not being tracked. So let me just say something here. And let me save this. 
since this is untracked we need to stage these changes also the source control will indicate that there is one pending change click on source control and you'll see there is new underscore file at php you can press the plus sign to stage the change type message to go with the commit like i will say new file and you can hit control enter or click on this uh, tick mark to commit the change so now it's committed to the local repo to publish it to github you need to uh, come down to the lower left hand corner you'll see that there is one change to be synchronized one if you press on that one and you click on ok it's going to push that file to your github repo as well if you come here and refresh this page you should see a new file 42 seconds ago. If you click on this, you can see the contents of the file. Let me make a change to this file. Let me go back to this. Let me add another line. Let me just say another line and I save it. So since this is a new change, you will see that this file is modified. And if you have heard this one, it says one pending change. But if you click on this one, you will see that what has been changed. You can see that there's been a new line. This is the old and this is the new. Click on the plus sign to stage the changes and then I can commit the new file. I'll say added another line control enter you can see that i made that change but i did not push it to the github i can go ahead totally get rid of this file now even if i click delete this file and move it to recycle bin i will st i can still get it back so you can see that this file has been deleted and if i want to get it back from here i can get it back from here i i don't want to get it back i want to delete it for now so i will just stage the change i'll say delete it and i can commit this but i still haven't pushed it to the github repo i can push it to the repo now this will apply the same changes will be applied to the github repo as well click ok i come here come back to the existing project you can see the file has been deleted from here you cannot see it but you can see it from here you can even see different versions of the file you see and if i go back so i can see the comments in different versions of your files you can always roll back and revert to any version of your file you will always have the history of all the versions of your files on the github and also at your local repo you can allow other developers to work on the same project simultaneously so as you can see this is really a powerful tool before you code the next big thing and start making lots of money uh, i do hope that you start using git and get yourself familiar because it will save you lots of headaches in the future. Uh, let me know if you want the second part to this tutorial. Thank you very much for your gift of time. I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And make sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to receive videos like this in the future.